Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I never start my vlogs like this. I don't think I've ever started a vlog like this. Usually I'm like going to the gym in the morning, but today's a little bit different. Today's Monday. This morning I had to skip the gym because I needed to start getting ready to get content because I just want to get my content done earlier this week. I never get content on Mondays ever, but I'm getting my brows tattooed too and I'm kind of just worried about what the... Um, what's the word? What, what word am I looking for? The, um, like the process after. It's going to come to me while I'm watching this and it's going to really annoy me that I didn't figure out the word that I was trying to think of. I'm a little bit worried what the healing process is going to be. So I'm going to get my content done today. I got a lot of content done towards the end of the week last week. So if I get a couple more today, then that'll have me set for... The rest of this week pretty much so yeah that's why i couldn't go to the gym this morning mondays are usually like my day where i plan the rest of my week um i just get stuff done basically on mondays i'm like editing videos but to be honest i actually i don't have anything to edit right now like video wise because i haven't been filming i went on a cruise not last week but the week before and I got home last Monday, so a week ago today. And unless I get home from something on like a Sunday night, it's hard for me to get back into routine on a Tuesday. Like that just feels so weird to me. And also the weather was just dreadful last week. So I didn't film anything. But hopefully if the healing process of my brows isn't too bad and they're not like scabbing off, um, I'll probably get another video filmed this week. I want to do like a mukbang or something. I really want to do... I've been craving um asian food so like ramen like instant ramen i've been craving like bubble tea which i always have bubble tea and like korean hot dogs and stuff so i really want to do like an asian mukbang friday this week is actually exactly eight weeks out till we leave for europe pretty much as of friday i'm gonna be on a fairly strict diet not too strict but more so just um you know high protein trying to cut down on my sugars or my sugar intake a little bit really just do like a mini transformation before we leave but yeah anyways i'm doing that today so i thought i would start the weekly vlog today and then on wednesday i'm going back to see her to do lip tattoo as well i'm just doing it all this week aren't i i actually saw a few of my friends grow to her so i'm like i may as well they look really good and i feel like it'll suit me so I'm just going to do it. I didn't even mention who I'm going to, but I'm seeing Cosmetic Effects in Varsity. I'm sure you guys have heard of her before if you're on the Gold Coast. I feel like everyone goes to her, so I'm really excited. All right, I'm just going to finish my makeup off. I just need to put lashes on, do my lips, finish my eyes, and then... Ow! And then we're done. Got on my first outfit. Everything is from Pretty Little Thing. I actually don't have any denim maxi skirts. This is my first one and I actually really like it. I did size up to an eight just so I can wear it like a little bit lower on the waist. Um, but I think I'm just going to style it with some white sneakers. And then I'm just going to get a photo in this lilac dress afterwards just at a cafe i'll show you guys when we get there it's so cute I've just done my lips i thought i'd share it with you guys i'm not gonna remember this lipstick wearing the mega max pop pop lipstick in the shade chic this is a shine one so they've got like matte shine a couple of others i think and then i'm just wearing my sweet tea lip liner from morphe i honestly just don't feel like myself when i'm getting content um unless i have like big girls Big girls? Sorry. I definitely don't have big girls. I've got humble D cups, so I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god, what's gotten into me? I don't feel like myself unless I have like big curls and gloss on. Like I feel like I look so different right now, but it's got to do something different, you know. I feel like straight hair is a little bit more chilled as well. I actually have not gotten a photo with straight hair since I dyed it brown so we got to the photos in the denim skirt i wasn't gonna vlog there because i was literally just in a car park but we just got to the cafe now i feel like this is very close to my face um but how cute is this so nice it's called bad. yes please um it's called next door espresso in burley it's at a very random spot but i just love the whole aesthetic <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
How's your coffee doll? I need more sweetener in this. What the hell's? Where's that light coming from? I don't know. Anyways, I dropped Maya home. Um, she just had to do some Depop stuff and I had to go to Coles quickly because I did a click and collect order yesterday and they didn't put barramundi in. And I just also had to get some extra meat for the week. I just quickly ran in and did that. But I don't know why, guys. Recently, people have been complimenting my makeup so much more than usual. The girl at Woolies, because I had to go to Woolies and Coles because Woolies didn't have any chicken. Like, they didn't have chicken at the butcher. They only had the packaged chicken and I didn't need that much. Anyways, the girl was like, your makeup is wow. She's like, she, she was like, do you work at one of the makeup stores? I was like, no. She's like, oh, you just like to do it. And I was like, yeah. And in my head, I'm like, I literally never wear makeup through the week unless I'm getting content. I was like, yeah, like I just felt like doing it today. <laughs> she was like, your skin, like she was like, it literally looks like you have one of those apps on your faces. Like you don't even need a filter. And I was like, thank you. Maybe like since my hair has been darker, my makeup looks better. But even when I was on my cruise the other week, one of James's parents' friends was like, she was like, what do you use on your face? She was like in her 50s, 60s. And I was like, oh, you know, I think it's just because I'm so young, like the way makeup I didn't know how to say it. I was just like, oh, I think it's just because I'm only 22. Like, my skin's still, like, I don't know, quite young. And I didn't want to be, like, you know, the amount of makeup I put on my face just wouldn't look the same on someone with, like, mature skin. Which actually made me think, when I'm older, I'm going to have to figure out how to do makeup all over again. Because the amount of makeup that I put on just would not look good on mature skin, as I said. Like, when you have wrinkles and... All that kind of thing it's obviously gonna look very cakey when that time comes i reckon there'll be way more products um suited towards older skin anyways where i'm going with that is i don't know why everyone's complaining my makeup so much more maybe it's because i have darker hair so i think my features and just my face in general stands out more than when it was blonde I don't know, because I feel like I do my makeup exactly the same. Yeah, I'm going to go home now, take all my makeup off, and then head to my brow appointment. It's 12.53, my appointment's at 2, so I've got to leave at like 1.30, 1.40-ish. I'm really nervous, guys. I haven't had my brows tattooed in a couple years. I used to get them microbladed, which is apparently not that great for your brows. My friend Emily went to her the other week, and her brows, I saw her a couple days ago. We went to Hellenica for lunch, and her brows just look incredible. Like, they look so natural, but just so good. If you are from the Gold Coast, you know, the roundabout in Broad Beach, there's like a pedestrian crossing right next to it, and all the cars just get banked up, and it's so annoying because there's always pedestrians. I'm about to head out the door, but I want to open up this Amazon package. I just love how it comes in like two days, but I got some of these powder puffs because I see everyone using them all over TikTok. So I want to see how it applies my powder, if I prefer it over my beauty blender. And then I also just got one of these milk frothers. See it all over TikTok. I've actually been seeing it since like COVID. I feel like that's when they started going viral when everyone was making coffees at home, the frothy ones. Alrighty guys, my brows are all done. She did such a good job. They look amazing. They do look dark at the moment and they will get a little bit darker, but they obviously will fade as they heal and then we will do a little touch up um, just on some areas that we need to in like four to, I think I booked it in for like five weeks. And then on Wednesday, I'm doing my lip tattoo as well. So my lips are gonna be super bright for like three days and then they'll fade quite a bit as well. I'm definitely really glad that I did that and then it just means that I won't have to get my brows tinted all the time. Yeah, I guess this vlog will be good as well because then I can 
update you guys on the healing process. I look a little bit crazy at the moment because I really want to try these heatless curls that everyone's been doing. Okay, I think I sprayed my hair. Maybe a little bit too much. I bought this kit off Amazon a couple months ago and I still haven't gotten around to actually trying it out yet. So we're doing that today. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I'm just kind of doing it from memory from a TikTok I watched like a few months ago. I really hope this is Oh, I really... <gasps> I just sprayed water on my brows. Am I fucking normal? You're not meant to get your brows wet. So I look so ridiculous right now. Also, my brows are super dark. I mean... It actually looks pretty good. They're just super tight. Look at how good that looks. Are you kidding? I guess all we have to see now is how long they actually last, but it looks so good. All right, we're out of focus. The top that I'm wearing is from Muscle Republic. It's from Ali's collab with them. It's so nice. And then my shorts are CSV, Cop Shop Boutique. Also, side note, I way prefer like longer shorts on me. I just can't do the ones that are super short. I don't know. I feel like I can't walk around in public like that. I don't know. Anyways, shoes. As per usual, I'm just wearing NMDs. I pretty much just like swap between three shoes. Alrighty guys, I just got to the alterations place in Bundle. I've never gone to this lady. My sister-in-law actually recommended me her, but I've never been to her. Apparently she's really, really good though. Also my PA Maya, she sees her as well for all her um, higher stuff that needs, she needs to get altered or fixed. Got a box here with like two dresses and a pair of pants that I need to get altered. If you guys watch my TikTok you are summer hauls. You guys would have seen these already. Yeah, I'll show you guys when I get in there what the dresses look like anyway. Um, but yeah, I just need to get them altered. One of them I want to wear next weekend because we're going to Noosa for Easter long weekend. And then the other two I don't need ready till like mid-May. So she can definitely do those, but I'll have to ask if she has time to get that one dress done next week. But yeah, my appointment's at one. It's five minutes away. So let's head in there. Hello guys, it is currently 2.30 on Wednesday. I'm going to run in to my appointment now. I just got here. As I mentioned at the start of this video, I'm going to get my lips tattooed as well. I've been seeing so many people do it recently, so I wanted to try it out for myself. I'm going to vlog everything for you guys as well. Mm, that's nice. Sorry about the lighting right now. Ooh. 
Should we go to see my boobs? Hopefully not. It's literally pissing down rain and it's so dark. It's only it's only five o'clock yet. It's four forty-five. Um, but lips are done. She did say there would be like a little bit of white like patches almost because of the like anesthetic cream but once that wears off they're gonna be nice and even tomorrow and friday they're gonna be super bright um saturday they might start flaking a bit but she's like uh, she doesn't think that mine will flake that much she's literally like such a perfectionist which is so important in that industry i feel so yeah definitely recommend her i love how my brows look and i love how my lips look already and they're not even healed yet but yeah guys, I'm honestly not really doing much tonight. It's raining, it's such a miserable night. So I probably won't see you guys until the morning when I go to the gym. It is the next morning, so this is what they look like on, would you say the first or the second day? I'm going to say yesterday, the day I got them done was the first day. Um, and they started darkening, or like brightening up, sorry, a little bit last night. And then now they're quite bright, but I don't actually hate it. Okay, it is a bit dramatic. It's giving Marilyn Monroe, but it's not that bad. My brows are still pretty much looking the same. I feel like they've stayed pretty consistent this whole past few days i'm just gonna head to the gym now though i'm just wearing this set from crop shop boutique it's the serenity pants and i'm not sure what the top's called shoes and mds these are another colorway that i have um to the other ones i was wearing the other day <laughs> at all of this Issa stuff. I'm thinking of making Issa baskets for um, James's family, but I'll probably do that next week. To be honest, I need to like plan it all out and see what I need to get. So much Issa stuff. Usually it's all gone by now. I just got back from the shops. I was actually waiting there for like 20 minutes because I was looking for these ice creams, which if you guys know, you know. It's been all over TikTok recently. I got a pack the other day and tried them and oh my God, it's actually the best stick ice cream I've ever tried. The flavor is just incredible. And James had one last night as well and he said the exact same thing, like 10 out of 10. I wanted to get more and they actually pulled them off the shelf. So they had to go to the back, like big main fridge, freezer, sorry. And get them but she was like we literally had like 58 at the back or something she's like i'm not sure why they took it off the shelf but anyways i got two packs because i was waiting for like 15 minutes i'm like i'm not just gonna come out here with one pack and each pack only comes with three but um i also got this 98 percent sugar-free choc hazelnut mocha which i'm gonna try this now with my protein I got some apples i also got this container for like sauces it's meant to be for soup but Sometimes I have like leftover sauces and marinades over when I make them. So I thought I'd just get this because it's handy for the fridge rather than putting it in like a big container and wasting space. I got some tamari, light soy sauce, some more tuna, some more kupi, kupi mayo, banana. I have banana basically every day. So I always just get a couple even if I don't need it. Some more mouthwash. Fuck, I actually need a toothpaste. Um, chicken mince. I'm going back to the shops tomorrow anyway. Some salsa and lastly some Coke Zero, which I feel like is just a diet staple. I mean, it's a staple for me all year round because I love Coke Zero. Fucking serious, bro.
Okay guys, I'm just gonna make dinner now. It's currently seven o'clock, a little bit later than when I'd usually make dinner, but I was booking heaps of stuff for Europe and I pretty much just got carried away, but I'm gonna make myself some chicken satay skewers. So I thought I'd show you guys how I do it. Um, it's just like a really easy, quick meal. I actually make this for James too, for his meal prep sometimes. God, my knives honestly suck. I've got my chicken in the bowl. I'm just gonna add in some curry powder. Not too much, it's just not a lot actually. It's just to give it a bit of color. Also a little bit of salt as well. Also just some olive oil as well to help the spices stick to the chicken. Also got some wooden sticks here that I have left in water. Actually left them in there overnight, but you definitely don't need to leave them in there for that long. And I'm putting them in like flat-ish so that it all cooks more evenly. And then I'm just gonna put this in the air fryer for like 15 minutes, 12, 15 minutes. Now for the sauce, I'm just adding in some peanut butter. I'm just kind of eyeballing everything. I don't want to do too much. A little bit of sugar or stevia, which is what I'm using. Um, oh, some poison. Fuck. Oh, that was way too much. A little bit of soy sauce. And then lastly, some light vegan cream or you can use coconut cream to use water if you don't have any of this any kind of cream will just give it more of like a creamy flavor perfect here's my dinner just some chicken satay rice and some coke zero i'm so obsessed with me it is day six of my brows and day four of my lips. Today is Saturday. I've literally had just like the most boring end to my week ever. Um, I kind of got majority of my work done like that I needed to put makeup on for last week. And then also on Monday, just before my appointment, I got like the last things that I needed to get done. So the rest of the week, I've really just been editing at home. Um, I placed another bulk order for Theola for some new stuff, which I'm really excited about. So I was just like finalizing things with that. But other than that, I've really just been doing nothing. So I've really had nothing to update you guys on, but I thought I'd show you guys how my brows and my lips are healing so far. So my brows, I feel like still look the same. Like they're not scabbing off or anything, um, which is very different to when I got them microbladed. I feel like at this stage, there was just like big chunks scabbing off. So I'm really glad that they're healing nicely. But I'll let you guys know if anything changes. And then my lips, obviously they're way, way, way lighter than what they were. Um, and they will get a little bit lighter as well. So when I do my touch up in, I think it's like seven weeks time. Um, I'll just like redefine them a little bit more. Because they will get a little bit lighter than this. I actually really like the colour they are now. But... As I said, they will get lighter again. Tonight, um, Tash, my sister-in-law, James's sister, and I are going to take Paris, who is hers and James's niece, to Time Zone. Sorry, that all sounded so confusing. But yeah, we're going to take her to Time Zone because her parents, Remy and Johnny, are in Hamilton Island. Hamilton Island I can't talk um, at the moment. So Tash and her mum are looking after the kids while they're away. I think they get home like tomorrow or something, but... They honestly look like they're having the best time. I'm so jealous. But yeah, I thought it'd be a good idea to just take P out for the night and do something fun. Yeah, I will film a few little snippets for you guys. I'm not going to get Paris in it that much because her parents don't want her to be on social media. Yeah, I'll see you guys there.